So in this equation, we have KO2 plus H2O. This is potassium superoxide. Sometimes it's called potassium dioxide plus water. Man, those kids are going nuts next door. Okay, so to balance this, what we can do is count the atoms up on each side. And this is not a real easy equation for us to balance. So let's try it. We say one potassium, two oxygens, plus, don't forget the one oxygen here. We have three, and then hydrogens, we have two. Product side, one potassium, and then oxygen, we have one plus two plus two. That gives us five, all right? Hydrogens, we have one plus two. That gives us three. Let's try to fix the hydrogens first. If I could get this to be an even number, that would make it pretty easy to fix the hydrogens over here. Looks like the best way to do that, if I put a two here, one times two, so that gives me two plus these two hydrogens, that's gonna give me four. So now I need to do the oxygens and the potassium. So for oxygens, I have two times one, that's two plus the two plus the two, that gives me six, and then two times the one, that'll give me two potassium atoms. So now I can fix the hydrogens pretty easy because I could put a two here, two times two, that gives me four hydrogen atoms, and then one times two. So I have two plus two, that gives me four. So everything's pretty close. We got the hydrogens right. The oxygens, they are not quite there yet though. And we need to balance the potassium as well. Why don't we put a two here? One times two, that would balance the potassium atoms. And let me clean this up a little bit. For the oxygen, I have two times two is four plus two times one, that'll give me six. And now the equation is balanced. So I tried, so I tried to get the hydrogen to be an even number. That let me fix the hydrogens on this side. Then I could work with the oxygens and finish balancing up the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KO2 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.